everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to film another Planner Society setup for you. This is with the July Planner Society kit. I just got mine in the mail like three or four days ago. Um, today is Saturday when I'm filming this and I waited a little bit. I know that some people don't enjoy um, watching me kind of flounder as I put the kit together. So I took some time to really think about what I wanted to do. Um, I did take it all apart, not all of it. I did take it out. Um, I made my dividers. I did some other things. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. Um, but I wanted to show you um, a couple of things briefly. I'm not going to do a full unboxing. My friend Nikki from Nikki Plus 3, she does a fantastic unboxing every month when she does um, the Planner Society kit. So I'm going to link her video down below. Um, as of when I'm filming this, she wasn't sure when hers was going to go up. So this may go up before her video. Either way, just keep checking back in that description bar below and it'll be linked there. Otherwise, make sure that you're subscribed to her channel because you can um, check it out there. So anyway, really quickly, I wanted to show you um, the box, the box sticker society kit. I already opened it, like I said, and it's really, really cute. And I love the colors, it's really bright. So here are our headers, checklists, and some icons. They're always the same. Her kits are always the same. Here's our uh, really cute clipboard check boxes. I love these. Here's our full boxes. Super cute. The colors are great. I love this box. Um, and it's like a semi-gloss. Yeah. And then we've got our washi. We've got some quarter boxes and some half boxes. And then, of course, we have some deco. So super cute. This says swimming, planning, surfing. This says hello, sunshine. Super cute. So this one, she's like carrying her pineapple pool float. <laughs> so cute. So um, that is the box sticker society kit. And it really is adorable. So you'll be seeing this in my planner very soon because summer is almost over. So definitely want to use it before summer is gone. And then let me go ahead and show you what I haven't taken out of here yet. I pretty much the only thing I took out were the papers. Um, and you know what's nice this, this month? You know how we're always complaining that the bag is so beautiful but we never get a paper like it? Well, we did this this month. So I'm super duper excited about that. But look at all these beautiful goodies. So cute. My favorite piece is this bag. I just adore it with the really cute little bow. I don't know what is all all over, I guess behind it, oh yeah, behind it's brown. I was like, what is that? It's the brown felt, but this is adorable. So I love the scallops, I love the florals, and I love the bow. So three of my favorite things. And we've got some paper clips, some fun uh, journaling cards, which I, which I always use. Some great, uh, what are these, stamps? A really great notepad. And these are divider tabs. We've got uh, confetti to make a shaker, some type of shaker something, dashboard or whatever you wanted. This really adorable pen, I do believe it's a ballpoint, hers usually are, um, but you can get you know a filler to change that. But this is adorable. I wish it had a clip, but that's okay that it doesn't. Our die cuts, which I love. You guys know I love die cuts. And then this amazing washi, love this washi. And then in this sticker, or in this uh, bag here, it's usually stickers. So let's take a look and see. It is, yep. Now they come in cellophane. They didn't used to come in cellophane. They used to just come in the little bag, but now they come in cellophane. So let's take a look at these. Well, there's a lot of stickers here, lots of deco. So here's the, these are really cute little, little earrings, little VW bugs. Oh, cute. These are a whole bunch of phrases. Salty eyelashes and the endless ocean. That's cute. Shades, shades and planner babes. Life is better in flip flops. That's true. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown and be sweet in the, in, on the inside. Cute. This says girls, planner girls just want to have fun. Passports and pineapples. It's cute. Oh, I love all the swimsuits. Cute. 
I love that orange one. I love, love, love that. This is so cute. And here's all of our girls. I like this. We got a lot more like fun options with these. So super cute. I'm excited to use them. Um, and then let me go ahead and show you the dividers and stuff that I've already made. So I made my dividers. I made three. And here they are. And you guys know I, I, I do three. And I already laminated them and hole punched them. Here's what the back of them look like. These, this paper here is the same. Um, but I just love this one here. And one of my favorite aspects of this kit is the geometric shapes. There's so many like hard edges. So there's also this green paper, which looks just like the bag. And I love like the squares that are in there. And then here's the back. It's this pretty purple. So I cut these so that we could use these as deco in the planner. And then it also came with this beautiful vellum which is like a lavender color and it's got some more of the geometric shapes. So I really like the geometric shapes that are in this. It just, I don't know, add it, add it, seriously, Tiffany, it adds a little bit of fun like edge to it. So I'm really, really, really excited about uh, this kit. So let's start by, uh, oh, let me show you a couple more things that I pulled in. So I purchased this like giant piece of doily scrapbook paper from Michaels, the Recollections brand. I want to say it was $1.99. There's some fuzz on there. I'm pretty sure it was $1.99 and I think it might have even been on sale when I went the other day. Um, but that fuzz just does not want to leave. But it's like just a plain cream colored paper doily and, the re and a giant one. The reason I got the cream is because I figured it could go with this kit as well as many other kits. So there's that. I pulled in two gold like foiled um, die cuts that I purchased. These came in a giant kit from a planner. No. What is that? Project Life. Yes, these are from Project Life. And I just thought, I love this one here with the banner. So I just pulled those in. I thought they were pretty. And then I also picked up some of these bling stickers. That's legit what they're called. And they're just little geometric like studs. And um, they're stickers. And I just liked this like kind of hard element with the geometric shapes that are in the paper. I just kind of liked this like harder element here. Um, against the florals and the pretty bows. Like, I don't know, it just kind of matched to me. So there's that. And then I did pull two paper doilies that I already had in my um, supplies. And I also pulled a couple other things, which I'll show you as we go. So that is what I'm gonna be using for today's planner setup. The paper doilies and the Project Life die cuts and the stickers and the paper I got all at Michael's. Not all at the same trip. This stuff I got on the same trip. These I got a long time ago and these paper doilies I buy on the regular because I use them in my packaging for my shop so I always have them. Um, if you purchase something from me, most likely you have a paper doily in your kit unless I ran out, <laughs> which does happen. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and start by decorating our first divider. Um, I don't use a dashboard typically, but I like to use a top divider. And so I wanted to use this one here and I kind of wanted to add this... Um, my, my thought was to use this doily paper and kind of add some right here and then to add this kind of layered over it or maybe behind it. I always like to use doilies on my front divider. I just think it's really pretty and it just adds a nice little feminine touch and I like that. So what am I doing here? I want to figure out how much of this I want to use. So I think we'll do like right about here. And so I'm going to cut it, hopefully, with my X-Acto blade. The, that's my thought process. Um, 
I don't know if it'll cut though, so bear with me. So now that I have cut this um, and I'm looking at it, I don't know if I'm crazy about it, but I'm going to try it. I always attach my um, embellishments to my dashboard or my top divider with washi. And I know people are like, what a waste of washi tape, but you know, whatevs. I don't go through washi tape that crazily. So for me, it is perfectly fine. And I like to use washi. You can always use a washi that you have that maybe you don't use a lot or it's not your favorite. You don't really like it. I do really like this washi. So we'll see how that goes. But I like to use washi because um, I can remove it. So if I don't like the way that it looks, I can move it around and I can take it off. And I, I like that aspect of washi tape. And um, I do laminate my dividers because I like them laminated. I like them to be sturdy and I like them. There was a time where I felt like the paper, I think it's, I don't know if it's changed at all, but there was a time where I was obsessed with the paper and so I never wanted to, um, I never wanted to laminate it because the paper was always so nice. But um, I do appreciate a laminated divider. I don't, I don't know what it is, I just like it. It's very sturdy and I change out my planners so regularly that um, I feel like I'd want, I like to have that there. You know, I like to have that, the sturdiness um, so I can change it up whenever I wanted. Okay, so now, now I want to figure out what is next. I like the gold. Um, you guys probably hear Colby like snorting it up over here. He just does not know where he wants to lay down. My husband just left for his um, Boy Scout planning meeting. And so now he's like, what do I do with myself? The dog cracking me up. All right, let's see if I can get this out of here. Okay, well, let me see if there's any. I'm not the craziest about the fonts. Um, I really like this one with the girl, but I'm not crazy about the font. Shades and planner babes, focus focus on the good. Uh, oh, I like that one, Hello Sunshine. Oh, I really like that one. It's the same background though. <sighs> so many options. Okay, I like this focus on the good. That's really pretty because I like the green but I love the shades and the banner, but it is, it's the same background. So I feel like we should use the green, even though I like this one better. Um, I think we should use the green, but let's just play with it. There's Colby taking his drink. Everybody say hi to Colby. Never fails, never fails. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. Oh, I love the bag, that's adorable. Oh, it's two bags, so cute. Um, so we've got this girl, we've got a hat. Oh my gosh, why do we get these itty bitty die cuts? Like, oh my goodness, okay. I don't know what it is with the die cuts these past couple times, but they're so little. It's disappointing. Like, how am I supposed to stuff pockets with this? I'm not supposed to stuff pockets with this. I believe that they're meant to be used on like, um, traveler's notebook goodies, but it's just a bummer to me. I, I love bigger, like the die cuts have just gotten significantly smaller. I'm gonna find an older die cut to show you if you're not familiar. I'm gonna find an older one to show you like what a difference it is. And it may just be me. I might just be the big fat baby about it, but I don't know. Like I miss having the bigger die cuts. Like I don't know how I'm supposed to stuff planter pockets with that, but I'll figure it out. I always do. 
just being a big whiny baby. I'm sorry. And if it bothers you that I'm complaining, I do apologize. I just, I really like to stuff my pockets with these plant, with these dividers, I mean with these, uh, with these die cuts. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that because these are so tiny. I don't know. I'll stop whining and figure it out. <laughs> I'll stop being a big whiny baby. I'll try to anyway. All right. I really like this bag. Um, and we've got a couple pair of shades that I think would look super cute. These pink ones I think would be adorable. Like what if I, I like the Vespa, but I feel like I might have to save the Vespa for the side for the pockets because it's one of the bigger options that we have and we don't really have that many options. So, um, Okay, so right now I'm just trying different stuff out. Oh my gosh, Colby, can you go lay down? Colby boy, are you really going to start chasing the kitties right this second? Is that a necessity? He's like, yeah, Mom. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he just finished his food. He, like, eats half of it in the morning and then the rest of it in the afternoon, and then we feed him again at night. So he just had his snack, and now he's like... I'm chilling. Okay. Um, where's our stickers? We've got some sticker options here as well. Oh, we've got this bigger one. Because I'm wondering if I should save this for the pockets. Um, because, like I mentioned, we don't really have very many options. Oh, that swimsuit's cute. Um, oh, we have these. Oh, cute. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What if we did... I really, really, really like to layer. The more layering, the better, in my opinion. Layering, to me, just... It's my style. It's very, um kind of shabby chic. I don't know a better way to describe it, but that is what I like. And I kind of like the way that this looks just as it is. Colby, buddy, do you have to clean your legs right now? <laughs> Why can't you take a snooze, old man? He's like, mom, I'm not tired. I also have this die cut, which obviously I would have to cut because it's very large, but it would look cute up there. No, too much, too much. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna secure these two larger items because I know for sure that I want them there. So let me secure those down really quickly. Good. Um, now let's start layering the die cuts. So I'm going to start with, I feel like I should save this piece for the side pocket, but I really liked it up here. So I'm going to put it up there because I liked it. So I'm just going to secure all of these down. Again, so I think I told you guys that I was supposed to take my CPCE today, my counselor prep exam, and I went down this morning, and I had been emailing my um, alumni counselor at my university all week, but she was out of town, and so I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go down, I'm pretty sure I'm registered, but... Apparently now we're supposed to register with a, with like this outside testing company because the exam is no longer offered by my university. It's now offered like through an electronic testing company. So I didn't do that because I didn't know. And 
I wasn't able to take my test. So that kind of sucked. I was a little bit relieved. Um, I'm not going to lie because I felt like I wasn't 100% ready. Um, I didn't have enough. I didn't study as much this week as I should have. And so I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed and as though I wasn't, I wasn't ready. So I, I did feel an ounce of, um, you know, relief when she said I couldn't take it, but I was also like, really? <laughs> uh, my in-laws kept my kids last night because they were going to watch the kiddos today while I went and took that exam. So I was all prepared, but you know, it's not the end of the world and it's also not worth getting like super duper upset about. So I just, I said, okay. And I said, well, what do I need to do for next time? And they gave me all the information. Um, I do think I don't have to take the CPCE exam. I can take a, a different exam. I can take a Praxis exam. So I'm kind of wondering if I want to do the Praxis instead, which is more specific to what I studied. I studied school counseling. So I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I want to just take the CPCE and because that's free. I can take that through my university for free, but I will eventually have to take the Praxis exam, but I could get a, per, sorry guys, hold on. I could get a provisional license um, with the school district and take my, take my Praxis exam. I, I'd be given three years to take it. Or do I just take it and get it over with and get my license? Because I can have either exam to get my license. However, the Praxis, I have to have eventually, where the CPCE, I don't. But I can get licensed with it. I don't have to have that one, though. So I don't know if that made any sense to you. It's very confusing, and <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So, because now the next CPCE isn't until September, and that's a bummer because I, I wanted to be in the school district by then. So, if I take, there is a Praxis exam in August, so I could do that. The only difference is I have to pay for the Praxis exam. It's like 100 and, I want to say it's 175 so... I don't know, but like I said, I'm eventually going to have to take it. So whether I took it now or in three years, it's going to have to happen at some point or another. So <sighs> I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted on what I decide to do. I'm such a flipping hot mess. At this point, I'm just trying to secure things. So I am a hot mess when it comes to this stuff. I just don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I just want to be a school counselor. So you know, that's all I want to do. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. I'm really loving it. I pulled out this binder here. Um, I've got some like decorative stickers in here. These are leftovers from a previous uh, Planner Society kit. They're like wood uh, stickers, I believe. I don't know if they're stickers. I have to check. But I've got a whole bunch of cute like decorative stickers in here. Um, and I wanted to take a look at these. And see if there was any of these that I wanted to add to it. I love the camera. Colby, are you okay? But I like all the elements of the gold glitter. I think Colby and Charlie are now. I posted a picture of Charlie, our little dog, our Chewini. She's a Dachshund Chihuahua mix. I posted a picture of her on my Instagram stories. And you guys were like, oh my goodness. You guys loved her. Um... If you knew how naughty she was, you might sing a different story, but oh, look what I found. <laughs> Playdate stickers from Lexi Kylie Designs. I don't know why those are in here. They shouldn't be. Um, these are really cute. These are really thick. I don't know who these are by. I want to say Mombi, but these are from Mombi. Um, I don't think that any of these really go. I think they're just a little too, like, I don't know. But I was looking for some kind of phrase. 
But all of these, this happiness one is kind of cute. I wish it had the gold glitter though. All of these basically say like friend or together. Um, they don't, these are my people, which is really cute. But they, they don't, I mean that doesn't make any sense to put on my plan a dashboard. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they are really cute. I'm going to put that back in there. But I don't think any of this is going to work, unfortunately. I was hoping I could have something in there, but I did have these. I don't know if the wood element really goes. Oh, and they're not, uh, they're not stickers. So I would need to bust out, like, a hot glue gun or something, because washi's just not going to hold those on. So... Uh, not this planner setup. Maybe another. I do love them. They are really beautiful. But I don't know if they're right for this one. So, um, let's see. I was, what I was thinking was like some kind of phrase down here. Uh, but I just, oh. I don't know, I'm not a fan of the font. I mean, that's so childish of me. But this font is not my fave, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's just not my fave. So we're gonna leave it alone for right now. Sorry, I don't know when I got cut off, but just adding some of these studs to the design so I like the stud I think it's it just adds a really fun touch to it like how they're kind of like um, I don't know it just adds like this element of toughness to it I don't even know if that's the right word if that even makes any flipping sense but it does to me so okay that's not any more for right now I don't want to overdo it. Okay. Those are really cute. And again, I found those at Michael's. They were in the sticker section. There's like a whole aisle of like very specific stickers. And then if you go over one, there's like embellishment stickers. And there's a whole section that has like gem stickers and gem tape and whatnot. And that's where I found these. So I really, really like them. Super cute. Okay. Let's start... Filling up our planner. I'm going to use my cream color crush this month. Um, sorry, I needed a drink. My throat was getting dry from all this talking. I'm going to use this cream color crush. This is my current setup that I love. I really, 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 really love this setup. So let's take everything out of here. So here's my weekly section, which I probably need to clean out. Here is my monthly so my monthly section and then my notes pages then I have a little um, what is that like a little envelope in the back so ooh, let's take this this is a green I like that oh let's take this one too because it's kind of bright um, or maybe we'll take the butterfly too I really loved this setup, you guys. <laughs> and as you can see, just my paper doilies are in there. I love me some paper doilies, so don't judge me if I have like a thing. All right, let me hole punch these. cute so far. I like it. Um, okay. So I wanted to, I cut out the papers here to fill pockets and whatnot. Um, this is a piece of vellum that I cut. I don't know. It seems like I might've cut it a little big because it comes out pretty far, but I don't know. I might leave it and see. And then I've got this green. I really love this green and the pops of the green. So I just cut these with my silhouette while I was over there just to make it a little bit easier. I don't know. 
And I'm gonna pop this one in the, in the back. I don't know how deep it is. Okay, cool, cool. And usually I will use um, like backer cards like this in the back, in the sides of my pockets, which I, I still might. I'm not saying I'm not going to, I just, I don't know, I cut those because I thought that they would look nice. The other thing I just forgot is that this planner has this nice little window right here, so I could still put this in here if I wanted. Um, I do feel like I might want to brighten it up. Uh, let's see, maybe this one, like with a pattern that isn't showcased yet. But I just am not a fan of that font. It's just, um, it's very thin. The font is very thin and that's, it's not my jam. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just not my favorite. So let's pop this one in here because I do like this one. Okay. And it's obviously slightly smaller than the pocket, so I've gotta kinda finagle it so it's just right. I don't know if our pen will stay in here. We'll try it, we'll put it in there for now. And let's start filling the pockets. Now, <laughs> I don't know how well we're going to do with these uh, die cuts because the die cuts are tiny. I also have this paper, which... Mm, I don't know if that would fit in there. I've got this pink paper doily, which obviously I want to put in there. And then I've got some backer cards. So let me pull out all the backer cards so I can see what I've got to work with. So when you get your Planner Society kit, don't just, you know, don't toss stuff until your spread is 100% done because you don't know what you might want to use. So don't, don't get rid of anything until you're sure that you don't, that you don't want to use it. We have this great pineapple uh, notepad. It's very large, so I don't know if I want to use it. Lately I've been putting it in the back, but I kind of don't know that I want to put it in there this time. I don't know why, but I feel like I might want to leave it out this spread. Um, and thank goodness for the backer cards because they're going to give us some height when it comes to filling the pockets. Let's take a look at these. I forgot about these paper clips. Now, the way that these are designed, I am pretty sure that these are designed for Traveler's Notebooks. Oh my gosh. This one, are you kidding me? It's like, it's embroidered. Oh, I died just now. Okay, hold on. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Looks like a little bobby pin. I don't know, do they work in just like a regular personal planner? Oh my gosh, that is the cutest. Okay, this green one has to make it into our planner too. Oh, I love how fun and different these are. It's not the same old, same old, you know, which, don't get me wrong, I am a creature of habit, but it is nice to try. Sorry, I have to turn the planner because this just doesn't want to go in. It is also really fun to try, you know, to play around with stuff that's new. Can I get this in there? It's not, uh, it's not having it. Okay. Okay, forgive me. My camera silently stopped recording, but um, I basically just added a couple more of these journaling cards. I just kind of flipped them and just like so that the top portion is hanging out to add a little um, couple elements of layering because 
I'm really struggling with the die cuts. So I was able to put this floral one here in the back um, because it's large. And so that works out. Um, however, all the other die cuts are just really little. And so I'm, I'm really struggling with getting them in here. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> Because they're so tiny. This Vespa is so freaking cute. And I feel like it needs to be in here somehow. But it's like just such an awkward size. It's just not big enough like for me to prop it anywhere, you know? I don't I don't know. I'm not I mean I'm not upset. Like the die cuts are gorgeous. And I'm not like disappointed per se, in the, the kit itself. So, um, you know, don't think that I'm disappointed in Christy or her work. I just wish that the die cuts were bigger. That is all. I wish, I wish that we had both, you know, large die cuts. Like, even if this was, like, bigger, you know what I mean? It would take up more space and it would be easier to prop in the pocket, um, I don't know. But like I said, I think that so many people are moving towards the use of Traveler's Notebooks that the die cuts are reflecting that because I know that a lot of people use die cuts to decorate their Traveler's Notebook dashboards, which is great and super cute. A lot of people use the pocket ones, especially if you purchased the pocket one from Christy herself. I don't use Traveler's Notebook. I think they're cute. It's They're just not my thing. Um, they're really pretty and cute, and I love to watch people, like, decorate them and everything. It's really cute, but I think that's why the die cuts have transitioned into being pretty small. So, you know, it's, it is just, it is what it is. It is clearly not the end of the world, not the end of my world, not the end of anybody's world. It's not, it's not uh, going to make me, I just pushed this down. It's not going to make me unsubscribe <laughs> to the Planner Society, so you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, maybe if there were like a suggestion box where I could put in a suggestion, my suggestion would be just to give us a little bit more options, you know, maybe some larger ones if we could. That's just my suggestion. Obviously, nobody has to listen to me. I am a nobody when it comes to this stuff. I did have this bow. This bow was in my previous planner. This is from Planning Zen. It's just a little bow that like holds my place and I, I really like it. So I don't want to take that out because it's super cute and I think it still goes. The pink is a little pinky, but I don't know. I think it works. And I kind of want to use a stud sticker. I don't know if this will stay. If I stick a stud sticker on my planner, do you think it will stay? I don't know, but it's pretty. If it comes off, I have more and it's not the end of the world. And then the other thing that I have, I tried to stick this on here with some washi. I don't know if it'll stay. The other thing I pulled in was this bow. It's just a little gold paper clip bow, which I think is pretty. And, um, the only other thing I was thinking we could do is to add some of these, these sticker sheets are really big this month. Normally they're a little smaller. Eh. I don't want to put it back there. It's big. Okay. I think that might be it. I'm looking around to see if there's anything that I forgot, and I'm pretty sure there isn't. I think I've been able to use pretty much everything that I wanted to use. Um, if I stick this back here, that's cute. I think, I think that's it, you guys. I think I like it. I kind of want to secure that gold die cut back there because it's kind of flimsy, like this back pocket is not very full. So 
There we go. Okay. And I think that's it. I think my favorite part of this whole kit is this embroidered um, little paper clip, this little like bobber paper clip, which is so cute. These are very Traveler's Notebook. <laughs> like I know that they like pop out the top of the Traveler's Notebook, which is so cute. And um, I think it looks nice in my personal planner as well. And I like the studs. I really love the element that the studs bring. I covered up this paper so much you can't really see all of those geometrics. I can kind of see them here, but I know they're there. We've got the stripes, which is very geometric, and the stripes here. So it's still, you know, it's the, the aspects of the geometric, um, you know, embellishments are there just can't see them as much as you know you would have if I hadn't covered that all up but anyway I think it looks really cute uh my pockets are less full than normal and that's okay it's clearly not the end of the world if the pockets aren't as full um I think I'm just gonna leave it for those of you who like a little bit less of a cluttered setup maybe this will work for you and that is going to be it for this video if you guys liked this video make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe and uh, make sure you stay tuned i do a planner society setup every single month i've done them since the beginning of my channel back in january they're my favorite videos to do i love the planner society and um, i love to set planners up that's like it's like my jam so make sure you stay tuned. I'll definitely have more. And until the next video, you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.